Hey guys, this is 110 Pokemon back again with Custom Lego Guns Part 4. And, um, sorry Part 1 didn't, Part, sorry, Part 3 didn't come out yesterday because I, s I told you guys that on my Brick Arms Gun video that it was going to be out yesterday, but I was having trouble with the internet so I wasn't able to post it. So, Alright, um, in this episode, I'll be showing you five custom guns and two custom Lego minifigures. Alright, so my first one is my Lego silent, my si Lego silenced, um, pistol rifle thing. And what I did was, I don't know, I don't remember what it's from, I think it's like a Joker. Lego gun, but I got a Lego Joker gun, painted this little indent here silver, and then I got a, one of those blue half circular cylinder thingies, you know, and then I painted that black and I glued it all together. Next, I have the, this machine gun. <laughs> that I made and how I made it was I got a megaphone I I don't I got a light gray megaphone a black cylinder one of those magnifying glasses and a, a cone I painted everything black except for the stuff that was already black and I glued it together next I have the um I really don't know what it is but it's supposed to be like a ma machine gun with a stand on it and that's supposed to be like the, M the ammo box like an M60 so and I put that thing on it and painted it black so that it could stand up or else it would just fall down like that so how I made it was I got the Lego Atlantis Spear gun, I painted it black. Well, most of it that I could paint. And then I got a black hand, I glued it onto that. I got two of those, um, one by one, um, things with the little claws on them. And I got a, a tall one by two, and I with uh, one of those X's in the middle and I got one of those half those blue half cylinder half X things I stuck it in there I glued it all together and I painted it all black and that's how I made that and next I have this custom sniper rifle that I made how I made this was I got one of those another <clears throat> sorry another Atlantis spear gun and I got one of those black cylinder things and I glued it on and to, ma to make the scope and then from my Lego brick arms video that I that I showed you last um I had a black bipod on it and it just so I um like if I want to use it for some other thing I did not glue it onto this, but I made it so that you could put that there. I didn't glue it on so I could take it off. It doesn't look as cool. It still looks pretty cool. And that's that. And next is my Lego chain gun. Well, I really don't know what it's called, but I saw it from this other thing. But it's like a big, huge machine gun. And this is it. And I think a lot of people know how to make it, but for those of you who don't, I got one of those big bazooka things. I got a cylinder, and I and I colored it black to make it like the ammo clip that it has. I have other ones, but I don't remember where they went. And then, you can't see it from here, but right there, that little boxy part there, I, I got one of those... um one by ones that have all dots all around it except for the bottom 
and I stuck it on there and I got four binoculars and I put it all around the and I glued it all around the edges and I put a gray cylinder right there and that's how I made the Lego chain gun and I did not paint any of that I just glued it on and then next I have I have um you know that guy if I know I told you this before but in like part one or two of this I I showed you a a um a guy that had a that was all had all black clothes on and all he had was a hat and I didn't do much to him I just put a little 